Ah. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Happy Thursday. It's late, yo. It's 6.17 p.m. Current temperature is 56 degrees. I gotta get out of here. But first, talk to you for a bit. Went home last night to finally wrap up the plumbing saga for now. And I looked at the bucket of roots, which looked more like a bucket of mulch to me. Foul smelling mulch. I don't know why they left it out except for me to dispose of it. So I did. And then I sprayed Lysol everywhere, which kind of helped with the smell, but more importantly, hopefully killed any bacteria that might have been left sitting around. Hey, I did my laundry. Thank goodness. Whew. I was wearing these socks, man. It's like the socks that I would throw away, but last chance to wear socks, socks. I mean, I, I should have worn no socks. Had holes in them. Don't worry about you know, this big. Whew. Nice having clean socks. <sighs> socks. So, Stuart said his story about tree roots. And how it's a repeat problem. And it probably will be. I know when the plumber was talking to Kim, he said best to have him come out about once a year to do maintenance, which means go through the clean out and carve up anything you find in there before it blocks the entire thing. So I'm not sure which tree it would be, or if it was, I mean, it'd have to be a tree, right? We have some tree-like weeds. But I don't think those are near the deal with the stuff and the thing. I don't know. I'm pretty ignorant. But our plumbers are kind of, they're not brand name big time plumbers. They work in the neighborhood and they, they work really well with old houses like ours. But the question from Mike was why the one guy couldn't put the clean out in and he wasn't the guy that did that. It's somebody else who worked for the same plumber. So. They have different guys that come in and, you know, it's okay. It's all combined. So they now know us real well. They have a big file on us, and they know that we've spent untold thousands of dollars on uh, repairs. Did I ever tell you about the time we had no hot water upstairs and we had to, yeah, that was a job. It's the joy of home ownership, though, the joy of owning a house that's historic. It's not very historic, but it's a nice place. I'd much rather have it than not have it. Although the idea of paying rent certainly sounds more like a less of a budget buster, especially if you can hang all the plumbing jobs on your landlord. Here's to you. I had a very special uh, soda experience in mind, but because I have barely started this one, and because I'm practically out the door, that'll have to wait for tomorrow, which is good. We'll need something to talk about tomorrow anyway. Are there any non-plumbing comments? Jason talked about how he did not see Aaron when he drove through Tillamook. Yeah, he hides in an annex. It's interesting, because I had friends in Modesto who were in Tillamook, and I didn't, you know, I'm in Minnesota. I'm not going to know that, but he tweeted about it. I said, hey, did you see my brother? And then I had my brother pounce on him and surprise him, which was pretty cool. And then he ended up moving to Oregon, but to some other city. So Aaron is spared having to see him every day. That's a story about Aaron. Now, I had some YouTube comments, and I've been ignoring them. And let me pull them up. I hope they're not all about plumbing. I know one was about me being grumpy, which I certainly was being grumpy. Things made me grumpy. And 
It was combined with a lack of sleep. I got a lot of sleep today, which of course means I was late to get to work today, which means I'm late here now to get out of work, but it was all worth it for that delicious, delicious sleep. Videos. Did I imagine the comments? No. I'll find them. Just give me a minute. Oh, yeah. JT, I know you. He uh, said he was late to the party, but he's been catching up. And he left a comment on number 22, where I talk about the Skyway system in Minneapolis. And he said he looked it up, and it was very cool. So, yes. I agree. Uh, YouTube lifted their file limit a long time ago, as long as you never have been caught uploading copyrighted material. This account actually did upload copyrighted material years and years ago. I think we've been forgiven. I did a Tim and Eric sketch. But even knowing that I could probably talk forever, if, let's not go more than 10 minutes if we can possibly avoid it. And that's from Jens, who I know who that is, but I've forgotten and I'm not going to look it up right now. Plumbing, plumbing, plumbing. That's uh, Stuart again. Stuart's all over the place. So if they actually have to go out in the front yard and dig it up, which they didn't this time, but maybe sometime in our future, I don't know if that's an insurance job or not. That's the sort of thing I should probably find out ahead of time. I bet I don't. I kind of hope we're out of the plumbing phase for a while. Boy, this thing really looks weird in this light, doesn't it? This is my H&M shirt that Kim got me. She has one just like it, except it's not in yellow. It's black and white. And actually, I haven't seen her wear it in years, so it's probably long gone. I actually have a hole in it. These things are great, but they're very fragile, and you can't dry them. You have to hang them up, and they still get little holes in them. But you can't see it, so it's okay. feel like I'm forgetting something. You know, I remember now, uh, because Doug reminded me. He thanked me for making a comment about his blog. Have you read his allrecipes.com blog? If you ever want to cook uh, strange animals who live in the water and are alligators, that's the place. But he asked the question, how do I like my eggs? And I went on such a tangent talking about his blog, I never answered the question. The question is, I prefer... Scrambled, number one. Number two, over easy. Uh, number three, it's a tie between poached and hard-boiled. I like hard-boiled eggs, but I hardly ever have them, and I always forget to have them. And it used to be that we would buy eggs and then not eat them, and then at the absolute last moment before they went bad, we would boil all of them and have egg salad parties, and then I would have terrible episodes on the turtle the next day. We've gotten around that by buying a whole lot less eggs and eating them before they go bad. So my egg consumption is generally limited now to when we go to Perkins. And there I just have them scramble them because I don't trust them. But over easy is okay, but I prefer scrambled. Especially when I can put a lot of pepper on them, black pepper. So that is the egg question, which came before the chicken question. Which hasn't been asked, but maybe you will ask it. <sighs> That's going to be it. Because you all hate it when I talk about the Timberwolves. Managed to beat the Bobcats, though, thank goodness. Kevin Love, another 40 points. Can we talk about Kevin Love as an MVP candidate? I think we can. There's all these people like, oh, but his team's awful. Well, the team actually is not all that awful. They're pretty close to 500, if not at or above it. You can tell I've been paying attention. But just because they haven't lock themselves into the playoffs. You gotta look at what Love's doing in his numbers, and it would be hard to make a case for anyone else in the league right now over him. I really think that. Go to basketballreference.com and check out Love's numbers. You will be surprised, unless you've been watching them all along like I have. Go Timberwolves. Tomorrow, Celtics, Vanilla Ice, excitement. A special soda experience on this video. And the end of a long, long week. Thank goodness. Maybe I'll even talk about WrestleMania. Good night.